Hi there, my name is Anna Denoya, and I am the creator of a new musical called Grace and the Ghost. I also play the character Shadow, and I am so excited to tell you about our upcoming studio recording and how you can help. Grace and the Ghost is a story about a very lonely, very isolated young girl named Grace. She's a pianist and spends almost all of her time writing music for this imaginary friend that she has, who she calls her Shadow. That is until one night when, during a blackout, the two touch and Shadow is suddenly physicalized. So then we have this ghost character, Shadow, who is just absolutely desperate for another chance to be seen, to be a part of the world again. And then we have Grace, who is depressed, exhausted, wants nothing more than to just disappear. And these are two people who care about each other deeply, but still between them, there is only one body. So who gets to keep it? At its core, this is a story about coming out of isolation. It's about finding the will to move forward, the labor, and it is labor, but the labor of love that is waking up every day and doing the work necessary to take care of yourself and your body. It's about choosing to come back into yourself and the world around you, even when it feels easier to just let go and disappear. The collective trauma of COVID is something that we all carry, but I am personally very attuned to the mental health crisis it has brought upon my generation, especially those of us who were students when lockdowns began. With this character of race, we are talking about someone who has completely lost touch with everything that makes her feel like herself, feel excited, motivated, connected to the world at all. And it's not that she isn't trying. It's not that she doesn't want to leave this bedroom she spent months rotting away in. But once you sink far enough into this dark, comfortable, hollow place, even taking care of yourself on the most basic levels can feel like trying to run in a nightmare. Now, while much of this heavy urge to just vanish can come from the world around us, this story also focuses on the ways in which we can become stuck in ourselves, with particular attention paid to the body. Now, Shadow sings about the absolute joy of being back in her body again, about the carpet static and this nervous twist in her stomach, all of this magic that we feel every day but never really think about. On the other hand, Grace sings about feeling trapped in her body, having spent so much time alone with her mirror, believing completely in both her own ugliness and this impossible feminine ideal that she's expected to measure up to. I know that there are countless young people like me, young women and queer people especially, who are still sinking into that deep, hollow, comfortable place. They are exhausted and overwhelmed and they are certain that they are alone. I believe this story can help them. I began developing the story of Grace and the Ghost way back in 2020 with my friend and fellow playwright Gwyneth Strope. We then spent the next summer on Zoom with my writing partner Joshua Via, getting a draft ready to workshop at Millican University and then Aurora University, all leading up to the NYC debut of Grace and the Ghost at 54 Below last April, starring my phenomenal friend, Broadway baby Elizabeth Peter as Grace. And I feel so lucky to say that our entire team from that concert, including our stellar six-piece band, will be joining us again in the studio for this new recording. Now this will be Joshua and I's second time creating a cast album. And if you are familiar with our work at all, you'll know that all of our projects, all our recordings, all of our concerts, it's all self-produced. Now our first project, Open Stay, our song cycle, that recording came out back in 2021. And since then it has been so enthusiastically embraced by such a wide audience, wider than we ever could have imagined. And now, in order to bring you the, the highest quality recording of the best music we have ever written, we are asking for the support of that community. You can donate directly to this project here on our Indiegogo page, and we have some really exciting thank you gifts for our donors, including posters and CDs signed by me and Elizabeth. Also, if you're an Open Stay fan or just a theater creature looking for new material to sing, we have sheet music from every song in that show available for purchase at openstaymusical.com and 100% of sales going directly towards funding this new project. We are so proud of this exciting, challenging, completely original new musical, and we are so grateful for your support as we look forward to sharing this music with you. Good girl, I see.